there are risks, as you mentioned, even, even with your bullish positive outlook. We're, we're just getting headlines that the UK is going into national lockdown to try to deal with COVID-19. This is obviously still very much with us. Where do you go for protection to hedge yourself? This is something you've been writing about, and it's harder and harder to find things. Yeah, you know, I mean, this is the reason the VIX is up at 28, Sarah. I mean, in the old days, if the market was up here, the VIX would be down at 12 because we would have had treasuries as a hedge. We could have been buying two-year notes or five-year notes, levering them up, doing the old Ray Dalio risk parity trade that's been around for decades that has worked like a charm and something we've been you know, advocating for our clients for, for over a decade at Jeffrey. So uh, it's tough. I mean, the dollar isn't moving today. If you bought the dollar as a hedge, you're not, you're not winning anything. I think last I checked, the DXY was down. Um, you know, are you really gonna, are you gonna win with, uh, with other risk off bets that have, have worked in the past? There's no rate trade, even 10 year notes if you wanna go out the curve. They haven't moved much today. So uh, again, I think I, I've struggled with it. I think a lot of people have struggled with it, especially folks that have been in that risk parity land. And, and I think now you're just placing your bets with the central banks and, and look at, there could be more volatility this year because of that. And I think there will be. And you just have to kind of tolerate it and understand that we've we've moved into a very different rate world. You can't use investment grade credit. You can't use the rate market, the swaps or the or the treasury market. It's it's a uh, it's flying a little bit more uh, naked. It's flying with a little bit more trust that the policymakers have it under control. And that may not sound good to a lot of macro guys, but Hey, I you know I give Janet a lot of uh, a lot of credit for what she's she's accomplished both as chair and as a and a, a, throughout her career in uh, in the Federal Reserve. I think she's going to make an incredible Treasury Secretary, and uh, and I think Jay has come into his own after a few uh, bumps and wiggles. And I think whoever the next chair is should be and, and probably will be very much a seasoned veteran. So I don't. I, I guess I'm just going to say I'm not that worried. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.